Alright guys, I am building a fire alarm house, but you could probably tell that by the title that's up there. Yep, I actually tried this in October and failed because I didn't know how it really worked and how to use it and stuff. But then I fixed my flaws and voila, alarm hell. Well, this is only the circuitry so far. I still got a long ways to go. I'm just going to activate and reset right now. Think about it. So activated, and then reset, and I think one of these things came no it didn't. So I activated it and reset it. The LED in that relay turned on, because there's an LED in each of these relays. There are two of them. And they'll turn on when the power goes so that the relay latches. And this is used, being used as a reset because it's open. Now I also have two buttons over here. This is a switch and that's a button. Duh. Watch what happens when I flip that switch. Alright, when I flipped that switch, that LED turned on. The strobe continues flashing, but the horn decided to shut up. Yep. Audible silence. And if I press this button, there is a, a real alarm. There's a bit of a problem with the real alarm, but I'll go over that in a second. And then just resets here, and reset. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. Now what I did pretty much to get this to work, is I pretty much built two... I built two latching circuits out of relays. And this is the stuff on the relay. You see there's the alarm LED, or whatever LED that would be. And then there's a resistor in there. And there's these eight terminals. And it's actually really easy to build a latching circuit when you know what you're doing. And when you're using the correct relays. <laughs> and I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> now there's a couple of flaws with the panel as it stands. And the first flaw is that um, I don't have any relay sockets. Look, don't ever do that. Ever. Don't. It's bad. You'll, the bad things will happen. Just don't. I'm just doing this temporarily. Hopefully I'll be able to order some relay sockets. I went to Radio Shack and their sockets are a different shape. These two are horizontal on these relays. And in Radio Shack, they're vertical. So yeah, and I threw it out accident. All right. And another problem with the panel is that the re-alarm button is normally closed and pull stations are normally open. I know I could do a relay thing to when I activate the pull station. It will, oh, um, I'm trying to think, it'll close that or something, I don't know. I know I could do something with the pull station to where I could reactivate this, probably um, using that reset and I dropped it again, crap. But I have a theory that it'll never let the panel silence, or it'll never let the panel reset. I think. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And, yeah. And I already have a name and everything for the panel series. It's the Johnsico, This What you're looking at right now is the Johnsico InstAlert S1. And I use InstAlert because since it's a relay-based panel, it's instantly activated when you pull the pull station. And I still have the silence feature on. That's an act. That's a no-no. Forgot about that. And the S1's pretty much what you're looking here. Two NAX, one IDC, reset. That's it. But it's gonna it's like a mini panel. Like seriously, you could probably fit this in a four by four inch box. But you'd have to have a remote power and a remote um enunciator to control the panel. Then there will be an S5, which will have a panel case. Hopefully a power supply, but it might not. Um, an extra sensible knack or two. Three IDCs. Um, there will be a silent walk test and silent drill feature, which I could pretty much demonstrate here because I have a switch here. But on the panel, there would be a button, and this switch would be an extra switch. But I only had a switch to use, so because my T-bar is currently in the system. So pretty much... You just flip this switch up, and then for silent drill, you would press the drill button. There would be a drill button, but since I don't have a drill button here, we'll use this as the drill. And just the strobes will flash. Fire drill. Yay. 
And then for a silent walk test, I have to put this on the ground and position myself awkwardly around the camera. You would leave that switch up. Press, press, press the drill switch, which I can't do. So for now, I have to hold that down. Flip your device. And strobes start flashing. Flip it back up and reset. Now, that would also be a switch. It has to be wired in differently, though. And then there's going to be the S10, which will hopefully have four unsilenceable NACs, two silenceable NACs, an unsilenceable NACs, and four silenceable NACs. I don't know. I might have gotten that wrong. Oh well. <laughs> a power supply, definitely. An enclosure, definitely. Five IDCs, if not more. Um, the silent drill and silent test. Or oh, silent walk test. The walk test feature. An emergency shutoff feature. Which is something that's not in the S5. Which would be really good in case of a false alarm. This way you could just like pull the pull station right outside the panel and it would shut off. Um. Yes, um. And cadence, I hope. I know I can do code 3. Thank you, System Sensor. And System Sensor is also the reason why I'd have a second non silenceable NAC, because I'd have an MDL wired in there. And since I'd have an MDL in the second NAC, it'd be a sync NAC. And then there'd also be an MDL in one of the four silenceable NACs, which would code code 3. But, my problem is, I don't, I don't have a way to code March time. Now, I don't know if any of you knew this, I don't know if I told it yet or not. But I used to code alarms with this SHG board all the time. I'd code everything in the March time. It well, not everything. I wouldn't code an EST Genesis because that's impossible without cutting the jumpers. I coded the Spectre Alert and the Commander Three, and obviously the SHG. But I found out this doesn't work with um, mechanical horns. And when I tried to wire it to the relay the electromagnet. All that happened was the LED turned on. The electromagnet would not click and it would not do a whole like down up, down up, down up thing in march time pattern, which wouldn't be able to code the mechanism. So I can't do fast march time. I can't I I can't say I can't say I can't do two thousand one march time because I haven't tried yet. But I have no way to try two thousand one March. And any other codings, like Pulse, I'm not sure. All I know for sure is um, Code 3. If anyone knows any way for me to do other coding options, then leave a, um, leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Speaking of below, in the description below, I'm probably going to have a list of the stuff I still need to complete the panel. Because I still need a lot of things. Like currently, as I'm making this video, what comes off the top of my head? Relays, buttons, key switches, key buttons. A key a key on a, a little key thing switch itself. But not just the switch, like literally like one of these key locks. That's what I mean. A key lock. Door hinge, enclosure, power supply. There's still a lot of crap I need. Oh, excuse me. But at least I have all the circuitry ready to go, and I just have to multiply the silenceable knacks on a massive scale. <laughs> oh, terminals. Terminals comes to my mind, too. So, yeah, there's still a lot of work to go, but I've still got some of it done. Um, there was something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Like, as of now, I'm expecting to get it done before Christmas, but... Hopefully, if this quarter went well in school, I'll have it done by summer. It all depends. Well, what also doesn't help me is that it hasn't been snowing around here lately. Which doesn't help me because I was going to shovel some driveways to make some money so I can buy panel stuff. But unfortunately, it hasn't been snowing that often. Sad. Alright then. So pretty much, yeah, you got it. You're getting it, hopefully. I'm making a fire alarm handle. Still got a lot of stuff to buy. But at least I've got the general design of it done. Alright then, that is it.